And the next air sign we have is Aquarius. So Aquarius is a sign of um, the humanitarian. It's the humanitarian of the zodiac. They really are the peacemakers. Um, they are gregarious Aquarius. They can be fun and happy and go lucky and be really the life of the party. Or they can be completely cold, iceberg, sh shut down the emotions. They can be emotionless because Aquarians are in their head again. So remember, all these air signs, except for Librans, mm, but they tend to be in their head, Aquarians. It rules the circulation system, Aquarians. So it's all about, again, just like Virgo was, information. They're very good at information. They're very good at technical things. They think a lot. They rule, um, Aquarius rules inventions, mechanical things, new ideas. Abraham Lincoln was a Aquarian. And he, of course, Lincoln is known for disbanding slavery and many other things he was uh, very known for, humanitarian efforts. So it really is the, the great humanitarian, new invention, new ideas, new ways of thinking, new ways of doing things. An Aquarian, by the way, little known fact that you might not have known, Aquarian is the number one sign for independence. They gotta have their independence. They are really in their heads and they're in their own heads and they tend to be the eccentric sign in that they do things in a very different way than most people would normally do things. So Aquarians might look like this strange, crazy person because they just think differently. They look at things very, very differently than any other sign. So, and they do things in their own time. They don't do things at the regular time. They do things in their own time. So don't try to hold an Aquarian back because they're doing things their own way in their own time and they want their independence. So again, what they have to watch for is that they, again, another sign that needs to integrate the head to the heart. They need to feel a little bit more because sometimes they're too much in the head and it can cause a little bit of um, imbalance. So bringing that head energy, the mental energy down to the heart energy. They also need to work on the physical body more because there's so much in the head that they really need to work the physicality of yourself. That's a prayer.